Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of IU Southeast News. I'm Nikki Fouch. And I'm Elaine Zemer. Clockstock was held September 6th in McGullough Plaza. This event was hosted by Campus Life. Nikki has more. Weeks of welcome, so I'm playing all the events from throughout the first two weeks of classes. First time doing clock stop for me, anyway. What, two weeks, and I've already learned a lot. It's awesome. Definitely Greek different than I was held on Friday, September 14th. This event was sponsored by Greek Life and showcased fraternities and sororities to potential new members. I'm in Sigma Kappa. I've been in for about five years now. Greek Palooza is the kickoff day for all sororities and fraternities. Any Greek organization on campus is a chance for them to get to come out and really support their letters, you know, bring new students out, and it's also a new chance for new students to come find out about what Greek is because a lot of students are coming in as freshmen and aren't, you know, they don't have, they have the image of what's on TV. So this gives them a new image of what Greek life is really about. Now what made you guys want to come out tonight and visit the sororities? I wanted to find out more information about them, see what they're like and stuff. Tonight was kind of just a meet and greet for Greek Life. Rush Week starts September 18th on a Tuesday, lasts for two weeks, and ends Monday, October 1st. Nikki Fouch reporting for IU Southeast News. Coach Corby, formerly of the IU Southeast Grenadiers, has left us for an athletic department position at Wake Forest. He's really excited. He loved it. was a great ride at IU Southeast for seven yeah. years. He loved it here. He loved being a head coach. He learned well, a lot. But when his friend got promoted to head coach at Wake Forest and said, hey, I've got an opportunity. It's the, the bottom grunt fourth assistant spot. But it's the ACC. It's big time basketball. Walt was like, this is an opportunity. During the renovation of the University Center, IUS has turned to different alternatives to feed students during lunch. The new cafeteria is set to open in fall of 2008. Here's Ashley Short with more. Kathy Haller of IU Southeast Dining Services. Kathy, can you tell us what types of foods that are available to students? Uh, well, we have all types. We have um, vegetarian wraps. We've got turkey and ham wraps. We've got Italian subs. I mean, Italian rinders on uh, onion rolls. We have a cereal. We have Pop-Tarts. We have... Uh, Muffins, uh, LBLTs, we have all kinds. We have peanut butter jelly sandwiches that I like to We have a combo, which you can get a salad or um, a wrap with a bag of chips and a can coke for $4.99. Today I'm here with Ernie Gionis, Director of Dining Services. Ernie, can you tell us about the current cafeteria situation? Right now we've got a temporary setup uh, to, to at least provide some services to the students. It may be minimal, but uh, we wanted to get something up and running and we're anticipating completion of the food court in about three or four weeks, but we will have a temporary setup in there in about a week and a half. The University Center now includes a new coffee shop located across from the IUS bookstore. Here's Elaine Zimmer with more. And this is Edna Lynn with Dining Services here at IU Southeast. Have you decided on a name of the shop or are you um, in the process of naming it? Students get to name it uh, for the next week. We're going to take suggestions from your box sitting right over there by the comment bar. They can write suggestions in and then they all get to vote like next the week after that. What are your hours? 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. And what do your prices range between? Mm, anywhere for a dollar for an unsweet iced tea to 4.30 for a blended coffee drink. This has been Elaine Zemer with IU Southeast News. Some upcoming events on the IU Southeast campus includes Herbs Alive on Sunday, September 23rd, and the Blood Drive, which will be held Monday, September 24th, and Tuesday, September 25th. For IU Southeast News, I'm Elaine Zemer, and I'm Nikki Fouch.